Hi, welcome to the Mathematics of my channel. Today we are going to solve another interesting question about Laplace transform. Okay, the question is find the Laplace transform of sine of square root of t. Okay, interesting question. Mm, well, how to begin? First, we know uh, the series of sine of x. We can write this is equal to infinite sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n power x to the 2 times n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 factorial. Okay, now we have sine of square root of t. So instead of x, we can substitute the square root of t and here if we plug in 0 1 2 3 4 and so on we can write sine of square root of t is equal to uh, square root of t minus square root of t to the third power over 3 factorial plus square root of t to the fifth power over 5 factorial minus square root of t to the 7 over 7 factorial plus so on okay now we can write this is equal to here t to the 1 half minus t to the 3 over 2 over 3 factorial plus t to the 5 over 2 over 5 factorial minus t to the 7 over 2 over 7 factorial plus so on okay now we can take Laplace transform of sine of square root of t so we can write square root of t and here we can write Laplace transform of t to the one half minus Laplace transform of t to the three over two here one over three factorial plus one over five factorial Laplace transform of t to the 5 over 2 here minus 1 over 7 factorial Laplace transform of t to the 7 over 2 ok now we know mm, here I write here this place we know Laplace of t to the n is equal to n factorial over s to the n plus 1 here s greater than to 0 and n factorial is equal to we know gamma of n plus 1 over here s to the n plus 1 according to this formula now we can write uh, so here Laplace transform of t to the one half so one half plus one so gamma of three over two we can write this is equal to gamma of three over two over s to the n plus one so s to the three over two here minus 3 over 2 so plus 1 so gamma of 5 over 2 over uh, here 3 factorial so 3 factorial s to the 5 over 2 and here gamma of 7 over 2 over 5 factorial 
s to the 7 over 2 minus here gamma of 7 over 2 plus 1 so gamma of 9 over 2 over here 7 factorial s to the 9 over 2 well now gamma of 3 over 2 gamma of 5 over 2 gamma of 7 over 2 gamma of 9 over 2 and so on okay now we know this property of gamma gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n times gamma of n so now we need to gamma of 3 over 2 so gamma of 3 over 2 we can write this is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 and here according to this formula 1 over 2 gamma of 1 half gamma of 1 half we know the square root of 5 okay now then gamma of 5 over 2 so gamma of 5 over 2 we can write gamma of 1 plus 3 over 2 and here 3 over 2 times gamma of 3 over 2 we found 1 over 2 square root of 5 so square root of 5 over 2 okay now we know the pattern so we can write I change the fin okay now here we can write gamma of 3 over 2 is equal to square root of pi over 2 so 2 times here we have s to the 3 over 2 then here gamma of 5 over 2 so we can write 3 times square root of pi over here 3 factorial and here 2 times 2 so 2 square s to the 5 over 2 plus and here gamma of 7 over 2 so we can write now we know here gamma of 3 over 2 is equal to square root of 5 over 2 gamma of 5 over 2 is equal to 3 times square root of pi over 2 times 2 so gamma of 7 over 2 is equal to 5 times 3 times square root of pi over here 5 factorial and here 2 to the third power s to the 9 over 2 uh, sorry here s to the 7 over 2 s to the 7 over 2 and then here gamma of 9 over 2 so we can write according to this pattern here 7 times 5 times 3 times square root of pi over here 7 factorial and here 2 to the 4th power s to the 9 over 2 plus so on okay then sorry then we can take square root of 5 over 2 to the Oh, sorry 2 times s to the 3 over 2 as a common factor so we can write the square root of pi over 2 times s to the 3 over 2 and here 1 minus here we know the square root of 5 we take as a factor and here 3 here factorial 3 so we know 3 2 1 and then this 3 get cancelled and 2 times 1 so we can write uh, 2 times 1 times 2 2 score so 2 we take as a factor so we will have 1 over 2 score s and then here uh, now 5 factorial so we know 5 4 3 2 okay now here this 2 we can take as a factor and this 
file this file get cancelled and this three also get cancelled and now we have one over two to the three power two 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 score so two to the fifth here s score so s score yeah then here one over we can write here seven six five so seven five three get cancelled and one two once two we can take as a factor so here we will have two to the sixth power times six times s to the third power plus so on okay then we can write here square root of pi over 2 times s to the 3 over 2 and here 1 minus 1 over 2 square s plus here 2 to the fifth so 2 times 2 to the 4 here 2 to the 4 power here s square and here this 2 we can write factorial 2 and last term we can write 1 over 6 means 3 factorial here 2 to the 6 power s to the 3rd power plus so on okay then we can write here Laplace transform of sine of square root of t is equal to here square root of pi over 2 times s to the 3 over 2 and within bracket 1 minus here 1 over 2 score s and then we can arrange this uh, like 1 uh, over um, here 2 square s so here sorry here 1 over 2 square s here s square over 2 factorial sorry and then here we can write 1 over 2 square s to the third power over 3 factorial plus so on <coughs> ok then here square root of pi over 2 times s to the 3 over 2 and this is familiar with us because we know this is extension of e to the minus 1 over 2 square s okay then the square root of 5 over 2 times s to the 3 over 2 here this is equal to e to the minus 1 over 4 times s okay this is the answer or if you like you can simplify here 2 times s to the 1 half so 2 times square root of s times s uh, okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching